actually than the last group that was out here. I'm uh, Pete Glazer, I'm on the board of uh, Planned Parenthood. I think now is a chance for all of us to show our support for the organization that these volunteers and models and designers and everybody else have put together uh, with all the work they've done for tonight. Um, I support Planned Parenthood because I've got sisters and daughters and, and they benefit from this and we all, the whole community benefits from what Planned Parenthood does. Going around the room, I understand there are Planned Parenthood people with buckets and envelopes that if you, there's some there. Um, we've got some others around the room, so this is your chance to show your appreciation for what Planned Parenthood does. We do have some great gifts. Um, we have, uh, this is great. This is a safe sex tote bag. Look at this. This looks great. $125 level, level, you can get one of these. We uh, have anybody who can uh, make use of one of these tote bags. $125 level. Please raise your hand. There's one. We got one over here. Sorry, you'll, you'll get one of the bags from, uh, from our people that are going around. Anybody else at $125? Great bag. All right, now, and a uh, little bit less, but a smaller bag that's equally appropriate for uh, makeup or condoms or whatever you want to keep in it. A hundred dollar level. Anybody else at a hundred dollars? Got somebody? Okay. But at the fifty dollar level, we've got the best gift of all. You see, maybe you've seen my butt that I'm wearing today. This is the button that you can get for a $50 donation, and that's all it is. It's Planned Parenthood on it. It says, don't fuck with us, don't fuck without us. Anybody at the $25 level? Here we got a fellow here, may have been scratching his head, but I think, I think he's $25 level. Here we go, all right. $25 level over here and here and there. All right, there's people going around again, the Planned Parenthood folks with buckets that they'll give you an envelope and you can make your donation. Um, please hang around tonight. We've got the, the DJ, uh, Lincoln, he's going to be here. I mean, music, dancing, please continue to purchase merchandise. We've got raffle tickets, so hang around and have a nice time. Thanks a lot for coming out tonight.
more sad because we're done. Okay. I'd like to invite Liz York to come up and help me with this. Outdone, but uh, my little tiny hat is kicked to this dress right here. Do you see this? Now, having spent three hours last night with some slippery commons and little thread, I know this was not an easy feat. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Well done. <clears throat> All right, so in this jar here, we have our raffle tickets. We are drawing first for our one night stay and dinner for two at Sylvia Beach Hotel in Newport. You want to be paying attention because when I read these numbers off, if you don't respond, be patient. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm doing a good job, apparently. So um, anyone who's ever been to Jerky Queer knows that I love this, I love this process right here, and I will draw it out a little bit. Our first winner, am I drawing or are you drawing? What are we, you drew it already, we already have a winning ticket. You are on it. All right, get ready. Listen closely. Eight, one, six, nine, nine, six, six. I'm looking for eight, one, six, nine, nine, six, six. Are you in the house? Is that a hand I see, or it's just a bunch of cameras out there? Do we have a winner? Red ticket, 8169966. Yes, what's going on? Because it could be 9966, not 8. That's not a bad thing to do for MC. Okay, so nobody of course, we start off with nines and sixes. Well, okay. Did we have a nine, nine, six, six, nine, one, eight anywhere in the room? Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Okay, we have a winner. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So, this lovely person just won a one night stay and dinner for two at the Sylvia Beach Hotel. And you can go ahead and applaud and then a few minutes in. It's the last thing to do. at the Columbia Gorge Hotel in Hood River and two tickets for an excursion on the Mount Hood Railroad. Now, anyone that knows me well knows I love trains, so I'm a little jealous about this one. You ready? Yeah, I think you should go for it. The audience wants you to put a blue one, but of course you're not looking. You're not looking, you have no idea what color it is, because that would just be... Right, look at me and pull out a ticket. And it's red, sorry folks. So that's either a double date, or a bunch of friends, or one date, <laughs> if you're feeling really rambunctious. Dinner and a drink for four at poor cake, no? You're drawing? So don't look, but try psychically to find a blue ticket. Fair. Why do we have two different color tickets? That's just fair. Okay, well, here we go. Ready? Nine, nine, six, six, seven, six, five. Oh, so sad. Obviously not the gentleman in front. Six, seven, six, five. Do we have a winner? Excellent. Make your way up front here. There's an excellent, another winner. Raffle and all those raffle volunteers. 
All right, we have our winners. Well done. Thank you very much, Liz. Take the, take the winning tickets. All right, so that is still not your only chance for prizes, though, of course, because we have that silent auction. And of course, it's an auction by prize, I mean, thing that you pay for. But, <laughs> for a good cause. So we've got a um, little less than an hour, and a half an hour until the silent auction is done. If you haven't bid yet, you should bid now. If you already did bid, you should go double check, because someone might have outbid you, right? <laughs> you never know. So this is Nicole, who helped put this all together. And you can applaud Nicole and all of the Planned Parenthood volunteers that gave so much of their time this evening. This would also be a great time to, to thank yourselves and all the models and Fez Ballroom and our amazing DJ. Lots of folks did a lot of work this evening. Nicole, you got some stuff you want to share in the cabinets? Thank you.